Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be filming a little chit chat get ready with me life update. I asked you guys on Instagram what you wanted to see from me and you guys said you wanted me to film a get ready with me while updating you guys about my life. So with that being said, this video will not be um, like an in-depth tutorial. I'm literally just going to get ready with you guys and, and talk about my life I guess. And um, yeah, so I'm getting ready because Jonathan and I have a few plans today. It's Sunday. Usually the days that Jonathan and I have completely free from anything. So, so I might look a little bit crazy. That's because I have not done my hair or anything. I'm literally just going to start getting ready. So since I'm not, be, I'm not going to be going in depth with you guys, if you guys want to see an in-depth everyday makeup routine, then I can do that for you. But I already prepped and primed my skin. I'm just going to go ahead and jump into a get ready with me and into updating you guys about my life and let you know where I've been, what I've been up to, and all of that. Okay, so the first thing I want to, to talk about is I've gotten a few comments on my latest videos letting me know that a lot of you guys are new or are returning subscribers that haven't been watching me for like the last few months. So I actually um, am married to my high school sweetheart. For those of you that don't know, Jonathan and I have been dating on and off for ever since we were sophomores in high school. So yeah, those first few years were a little bit crazy because we were young and dumb and so yeah, he's my high school sweetheart. We got engaged the day of my birthday party which was August 18th of this year obviously and then we got married um, on September 6th civilly so we are legally civilly married. So yeah, we've been married for a little bit over a month now and our church big wedding isn't until next summer, so summer of 2020 and yeah guys for those of you that didn't know i am married to my high school sweetheart this is the ring um i don't show it off too much because i don't like to be that type of person but then again i am so happy about this and this is just a blessing and it's just been the happiest months of my life. If you guys didn't know, Jonathan and I also have a couples channel. It is J&J &J Vlogs. I will have it linked in the description box. Celine asked how marriage is. I, I do get to ask that question a lot. Um, someone also asked, Exo Esmeralda Exo said, how update us on how marriage changed you and your boyfriend's relationship. So my, so basically a lot of you guys want to know how our relationship changed from just being boyfriend and girlfriend to being husband and wife and my answer is honestly always the same i always say that my life feels more at peace um before i think i had so much going on with my in my mind i know a lot of us are like this we just don't know what the step what the next step is what's going to happen next in our life i feel like a lot of us get stuck in the future and not in the present meaning that we are always like okay what's going to happen next what i have to work for this and this and this i have to do this to set myself up for the future blah 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 so i feel like i was always like that my, i feel like my mind was always racing with what what's what's going to happen next what am i going to do next how am i going to step up my career how am i gonna you know like just things like that and then on the day of my birthday party jonathan asked me to marry him and i feel like that day was already so happy for me because i've never really um thrown myself a birthday party and i've also like the biggest party i've ever had was my graduation party which uh, some of you guys asked me if i've had a 15 but no i actually didn't have a quinceanera so the biggest party i've ever had was my graduation party and other than that like for birthdays and stuff we usually just go out and like celebrate some kind of way so for my birthday party um, it was the most special day because my grandparents were also visiting us from mexico and so i was already happy because all my friends were there all the pals were there um all my family was there his family was there and he asked me to marry him and it was just so so special because not only was i engaged to my high school sweetheart but my whole entire family his whole family was there and it was just so special so emotional and one of the best days of my life so far so i feel like jonathan and i have been at peace since then our life is just peaceful and i feel like i finally grounded myself and 
made myself be in the present now um because obviously you never know what the future holds so you have to live life to the fullest every day as if it's your last day and i think that's how i've been feeling i've been more grounded in myself and i've been peaceful and happy and joyful like everything is just amazing right now i have no complaints with my life and i am just so thankful to god thankful to you guys and thankful to my family and his family and everything because i just feel like my life is finally good the way it is like don't get me wrong there's still hardships there's still some things that i'm going through behind closed doors but my life is good um, but yeah in other words i just want to say my life has been very very peaceful since so very happy very peaceful very great um Kailita underscore fierro seven asked about asked me if i'm gonna bring out new merch anytime soon so i've kind of been brainstorming new merch ideas i want something that represents me but also like something that everyone that everyone could wear and you guys know that i'm into like the big big tees big ripped oversized t-shirts that's basically what my everyday outfit is so i've been kind of brainstorming so as of right now i have no merch going up but i am kind of brainstorming monse dot barrientos asked how to have a good relationship with your suegros love you by the way love you too girl honestly i feel like i've been really blessed with my suegros because i did meet them when i was 15 and when i met them jonathan and i were just like what were we, we weren't even friends yet because Oh my gosh, we have to tell that story, but when I met them, I was 15 and Jonathan and I had like the same goals, values, morals and we would always go to Grupo de Jovenes together like at church on Thursday nights and then we would also go, um, well we would see each other at church because we went to the same church and I feel like his parents knew that we had the same morals and stuff so I feel like maybe that's why they liked me and other than that, our relationship started pretty early on so they've known me, they've seen me grow up with their son and I've always been like, obviously you treat them with respect I treat them as my second, my second parents so I don't know just been really blessed to have the best suegros, in-laws so I think to have a good relationship with your suegros you just kind of have to treat them with respect treat them as if they're your parents in a way because obviously they're your in-laws and they did raise the love of your life so i think just being respectful and creating a bond and a good relationship with them is really really important but yeah to say the least i'm really blessed with my suegros so a lot of you guys also wanted me to update you on my whole process of getting papers and stuff so there's really nothing yet his parents and Jonathan and I went to have uh, went to our first appointment with the lawyer that we are picking. Um, we basically talked to her about the cost and the whole process, and she basically told us what to expect if we sign with her. So that was the first appointment. She basically let us know what we need, what we have to do, and stuff. So the next step in that is go making an appointment with the lawyer to sign the contract and figure out the next steps that's what we are on right now um we actually are making an appointment for not this monday but next monday which will kick off our process of getting my papers fixed Cristal Santos underscore asked me to update you guys on my nutrition and um, with that I feel like comes all the gym questions you guys know if you follow me on Instagram or if you've seen my new workout video that I put a few weeks ago you guys know that I've been doing F45 for a while now it's just like a personal kind of training gym I love it I've been doing it ever since August and I love it so much. I stopped going to a regular gym. That's the gym I go to now. I actually really, really love it. And today is Sunday, so tomorrow we are starting an eight week challenge with the gym. My goal right now is to lose body fat percentage and a, just to lose a few pounds, a few inches off my waist. Within the eight week challenge that we're doing with my gym, they have meal plans. That's very exciting. Yesterday, so today's Sunday, so yesterday, Saturday, we had an appointment at, at my gym to get weighed in our body fat scan and stuff and to get our before pictures. So we took before pictures we got our body fat percentage which tmi but my body fat percentage is at 38 percent and that is um not 
ideal for me that I'm carrying 50 pounds of muscle so basically within for the eight week challenge my goal is to drop my body fat percentage maybe to around 25% I don't know if that's even possible that's more than 10% um, I want to drop my body fat percentage and I want to increase my I want to increase the muscle that I'm carrying so that's gonna be a challenge that I'm very excited to start so yeah guys that's what my current nutrition plan stuff is I'm going to be following the meal plan that is on the app for the challenge and we'll see how we'll see if I reach my goals or what the heck happens what the heck Andrea C underscore XO asked How's marriage and how's your mom? Um, that's really sweet. So marriage is going great. We do argue, I'm not gonna lie. We argue about the stupidest things ever. Like who feeds corny, who does laundry, who goes and gets stuff. Or we argue about sometimes not wanting to do the same things. But honestly, that's it. There hasn't been a huge argument. We're doing really good and my mom is doing great. Um, I think this is a huge turning point for her. There's just a lot going on and I feel like she's she's really really happy but she's also kind of sad and upset because I'm her baby and I'm married and there's a lot of things that come with that and she knows that I'm spreading my wings and flying away from the nest soon so so I feel like she this has been like a turning point for her and although she's very happy she's also very sad because I mean what well, mom wants their daughter to move out and start their own life after I've been with her for 21 years already so but she's really good she's really happy and yeah very lovely and I love my mommy so you're done yeah are you still recording yeah so you're not done no Okay guys, that is it for today's video. Again, if you want me to film an in-depth makeup routine, I definitely will and show you all the products that I used in this video. And also don't forget that I do have a channel with my husband. It is J&J Vlogs and I will have it linked down below. And feel free to comment any video ideas you'd like me to film. I know a lot of you guys want to see my wedding planning series, which will start as soon as I go more in-depth into wedding planning. So keep, it on, keep an eye out for that, but it's not going to be on quite yet. But yeah, other than that, thank you guys so much for watching my video i love you so much i appreciate you so so much and i will see you in my next video but until then please always remember god goes glowing and growing